You don't need millions of examples to make LLMs output reasoning chains like DeepSeq R1 can. In fact, this paper shows you only need a thousand well-chosen examples and wait, there's more. The authors use a crazy simple test time compute trick to make sure that the model makes the best out of those reasoning chains. So join me for this AI coffee break because we're going to explain it all. Usually, the recipe to make AI smarter involves huge models, massive data sets, and reinforcement learning. Think about models like OpenAI's O1 or DeepSeq R1 that can output thinking tokens. DeepSeq R1 shows those chains, but for O1, that chain is hidden from the user and summarized by an LLM. Usually, you need a lot of examples and reinforcement learning to train the LLM to output such chains. Plus, companies like OpenAI do not tell us how they exactly do it. But guess what? Research just showed you can achieve impressive reasoning performance without reinforcement learning, but just supervised fine tuning on output from another model, also known as distillation. Distillation is not new, even DeepSeek R1 uses it, but the mind boggling fact here is that a thousand examples are enough for it. Just for reference, DeepSeek R1 trained on 800,000 examples. So, what is the secret sauce? What are those a thousand? examples. The authors first took 59,000 challenging questions from international olympiads of mathematics, biology, chemistry, physics, astronomy, and even standardized tests like the SAT and LSAT. They generated reasoning traces for each question and answer with Google's Gemini Flash thinking model. Then they filtered down these 59,000 examples to just 1,000 by removing examples with formatting issues, like, for example, questions with ASCII art or broken image references. Also, they kept only the hard examples where both Quent 2.57b and Quent 2.532b could not solve already. They ensured the diversity by randomly sampling an equal number of samples from each subject area, but favored examples with longer reasoning traces, like using a biased coin flip towards longer reasoning chains. Then they fine-tuned their own model called S1 from a 32 billion parameter Quen 2.5 model using those 1000 carefully curated examples just via next token prediction, just like the pre-training objective of any autoregressive LLM, so supervised fine-tuning and no reinforcement learning involved. Because it trained on all those reasoning chains outputted by Google's Gemini Flash thinking, as one could elicit reasoning chains too after the end of training. Training a model on another model's output is also called distillation, by the way. With just these 1000 examples, S1 achieved remarkable results. On the Mass 500 dataset, S1 scored 92.6 accuracy, outperforming O1's preview 85.5 and nearly matching O1's 94.8. On the challenging Amy24 test, S1 reached 50% accuracy, significantly better than O1's preview 44.6, but nowhere near to O1's 74.4. But wait, there's more. The authors could improve this accuracy even further via test time scaling, which sounds like a super complicated thing to do, but wait, it's not. At inference time, when the model tries to stop reasoning too early, the researchers force it to continue by replacing the end of thinking token with the word wait, after which the model doing autoregressive generation receives its own but modified output back as input to predict the next token. And after wait, the next most likely thing is to continue the generation and not to stop. In fact, this can nudge the model to double-check its answer, often correcting mistakes and refining its reasoning steps. Since the model was trained on human data, it knows humans typically reconsider their answers after writing wait. Clever, right? This approach of replacing the end of thinking token with wait is called budget forcing a test time scaling. We need such fancy words in a paper like this, because how else to intimidate people when the idea is as simple as it gets? This budget forcing method significantly boosted S1's reasoning accuracy. On Amy24, accuracy jumped from 50 to 56.7% with budget forcing. On the Math 500 dataset, accuracy improved slightly from 92.6 to 93. Remember, let's think step by step. That prompt could start a reasoning chain, back then called chain of thought. And wait is a new trick that keeps the reasoning chain going. 
S1 has important implications. It makes high-performance reasoning models more accessible because now, instead of needing millions of examples for fine-tuning for reasoning, just a carefully chosen thousand examples can do the trick. This opens doors for individuals and smaller organizations who previously couldn't compete due to limited data resources. Also, weight is a good trick to ensure the model spends more test time compute, but there's a trade-off. Adding weight to make reasoning chains longer increases computational costs at inference time. So the real question now is, how long are we willing to wait to get smarter answers, or how much extra are we willing to pay for inference tokens? I hope you enjoyed today's AI Coffee Break and wait, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out our merch store for some cool AI Coffee Break themed goodies. See you in the next video.